Botox for you today. The one thing that I uh, have developed over the last 10 years um, since start, I started doing Botox in 2010 is that I like to mix Botox and Dysport, not in the same syringe, but in the same setting. Botox is, uh, is a little bit weaker than Dysport. Dysport is 2.6 times uh, stronger than Botox. So what I do is I, I divide it in a way which took me a few years to perfect. And the thing that my patients like most is that it gives them a very natural result and it stays for about six months and sometimes, sometimes even longer than that. And this is what I'm going to expect that you're going to have. Okay, so let's go ahead and start injecting. And hopefully you won't feel we've already cleaned up the area. So I'm going to ask you to give it a smile. Here, give me a smile. And then relax. Just relax right there. Alright, perfect. Now, this is the area where it needs to be nice and tight. So this is where I inject the disport. Botox, I'm going to inject more on the forehead because you want the forehead to look more natural. So this is where the disc port is injected. And now we'll go to the other side, please. Mm -hmm. And then while we're injecting, we need to always keep something called three finger traction. This will make sure that the that what we're injecting doesn't move or go anywhere. And also it reduces the amount of pain because we're putting tension on the nerve fibers while we inject. So this is another technique that's also very nice at making sure that my patients don't get any pain while we're injecting. Did you feel that? Did you get a lot of pain with that? Uh, did you inject me yet? Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, we did. We did. We finished. Okay. Now, the, the other strong muscles are right here, and this is where we're going to go with the disport again because this disport is stronger. So I'd like you to frown, please. Give me a frown. All right. Now, that's the two muscles. All right. So we're going to inject right there. We need to be about a centimeter above the brow because if the Botox goes, or the Dysport goes down close to the eyelid, some people may develop what's called ptosis, or where the, the eyelid will shift down. We don't want that. That's, that's a bad complication if that happens. All right. All right, Tony, that's the first half. You've got to be kidding me. It's a great technique. Oh my, oh my gosh, that was the, the most insane. I, I didn't even feel the needle at all. That's awesome, great, all right. And now, get you to raise your brows for me. All right, perfect. So we want, we want to give a natural lift here without getting you too frozen. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we leave this part of the muscle working and we inject right in here. Now this is the Botox. Okay. All right, and then we go. We need to be symmetrical on the other side as well. So we're gonna inject right there. All right. Raise your eyebrows again, please. All right, and relax. And then we're gonna get the frontalis muscle here, which is the muscle. Now this is gonna be. This is gonna stop working in a natural way and it's gonna stop the wrinkles for about six months. Raise your eyebrows one more time. All right, and just relax. This is a little bit hyperactive on this area. So this needs a little bit of tweaking right here. We're gonna put a tiny bit right here. And we're gonna put a tiny bit less here because you have a little bit of hyperactivity in this area. All right, and that's pretty much it. We are finished, Tony. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Thank you. It's the That's first awesome. time I've ever had Botox or had needles in my face and I didn't even feel it.